What we're going to learn in this chapter will sound a bit far-fetched because our attempt is to try to process and transform a curve into a linear line on a Cartesian axis. And to do that, we are going to make use of these three steps over here. And to learn how we can apply these three steps, let's plunge directly into an example, which is on the second page of your outline. So let's take a look at this example over here, which presented to us a curve. And this curve is e to the power of y is equal to kx to the power of m. It is definitely a curve. So if I were to just simply try to plot this on an xy axis, and the coordinates are given to us. The coordinates are given to us as one point is going to be 1, 1 1.10, another point is going to be 2, 2.28, and so on. Okay, we have five points that are given to us. So I will be expecting that if I were to just simply plot these five points that are given, we are going to look at we are going to be looking at one that is following the shape of a curve. And that is not what the question wants because what the question wants is for us to be plotting on a graph paper a line, a linear line. So how can this be done? The first thing that we will do is we are going to try to manipulate this equation over here. We are going to try to manipulate this so that we have one expression in terms of x or y is equal to a constant multiplied by another expression that consists of x or y and then plus c where m and c here they are constants so if you were to look at this equation here what we can try do is maybe we can try to ln both sides so if we were to try to ln both sides we have ln e to the power of y is equal to ln kx to the power of m and y i can bring it forward so we have a y ln e this is going to be equal to breaking up the the expression here using law of logarithm it is going to be ln k plus ln x to the power of m and this m i can bring it forward so let me write down one more equation which is the where ln e is going to be equal to one so this is going to be y this will be equal to ln k plus m times of ln x and according to the second step that we have here, the moment where we have an equation that follows a form that is like this, we can then change our perspective to look at this equation here, which is a curve. Okay, it is still going to be a curve, but we're going to change our perspective to see this equation as if it is a y is equal to a constant plus another constant multiply by x where y okay it represents y still but this x represents ln x which means that if i were to now draw the graph on a different kind of cartesian axis instead of just simply x y what if we were to draw this one as x y here where y represents y where this x here represents ln x the reason why we are doing so is because the more when we have a form that is like this, where this is the variable, is equal to a constant multiplied by another variable plus a constant, then we have the form of a straight line, a linear line. Which means that if I were to be plotting this here, then we will, we will be expecting a straight line. And for this straight line, because it is of the form that is like this, and we have learned the format of a straight line before, this over here, is going to be the gradient. So we will be expecting that the gradient of this line that we are going to be plotting will, be, will have a value of m and we will be expecting that the y-intercept, which is this, the vertical intercept is going to be this, is going to be at 0 and ln k, which is what I've written down here. Okay, if it is of this form, then m here will represent the gradient of the graph and c here will represent the vertical intercept. So, for the points that are given to us, because they are still going to be x and y, x and y, we need to convert this point because our horizontal axis is now not x but ln x. So, we need new coordinate points. And that is what I'm doing here. I am trying to construct for myself a new table. And in this new table, I am going to be looking at ln x instead of just x because the x coordinate that is on this graph, this new transform graph, is ln x. So I will do a ln 1. Using my calculator, I'm going to get a 0. We'll do a ln 2, and that gives me a 0 0.69. Ln 3 is 1.10. Ln 5 is equal to 1.61. And ln 7 is equal to 1.95. And because we are not changing anything for y, 
In this case, y is still going to be y. So I'm going to retain the same values, 1.10, 2.28, 2.97, .2 and so on here. And then we are going to try to plot the graph. Let's see whether it is really going to be a straight line. So on this graph that we have, we are going to be plotting, uh, but I've already plotted it here. I am using a horizontal axis as ln x and a vertical axis as y because that is what I'm trying to see from here. I'm trying to see the I'm trying to see this equation from the linear perspective, okay? Because it is supposed to have been transformed into a linear as long as I see this as a variable and I see this as another variable, so it has been transformed into a linear form. So, if I were to be plotting, then zero will be the horizontal coordinates, which is ln x. So zero, 1.10. This gives me the first coordinate, 0 0.69. 0 0.69 is somewhere here. So 0 0.69, 2.28 gives me my second point. Then 1.10, 1.10 is somewhere here. So 1.10, 2.97. Then after that, we will have a 1.61 and 3.83, I'm getting a point here, and my last point will be 1.95, then 4.41. And let's see what we have. We have a line. If you were to draw a best fit line across uh, through these five points, you're going to be actually getting a line that is so close to these five points, and uh, it is definitely a line, not a curve. Okay, so from this line, like what we have discussed, what we can do is then to reverse the effect to try to find the gradient using the graph. Okay, because if I can find the gradient using the graph, we can then find M. If I can look at the graph and, and try to read the vertical intercept, and that vertical intercept is going to help me to find K. So what is the vertical intercept? The vertical intercept is at 0 and 1.10, which means that ln K, which is the vertical intercept, is 1.10. So ln k is equal to 1.10, this helps me to find k, k is equal to e to the power of 1.10, and that gives us the value of k to be equal to 3.00. And from the graph, I know that the gradient is going to help me to find the value for m. So I'm going to pick two points that are on the graph, and preferably two points that are not, that are not previously given to you through the question. So I'm, not going to, I'm, not, I'm going to try to avoid picking any of these five points here. I'm going to come with my two other new points, which are going to be this and this. So I'm going to take the y coordinates minus the y coordinate, 3.65 minus 1.50, and take the ln x coordinate, okay, 1.50 minus away the ln x coordinate, 0 0.25. This gives me 1.72. And the question continues to ask us about this graph. The question says, can you then make use of the graph to estimate the value of x when y is equal to 4? The vertical axis is y, so we can read 4 directly. But let's take note that for the horizontal axis, it represents ln x, which means that we will not be able to make use of this graph to read off x, the value of x directly. So I will trace through, ln, through 4 to get me the value for ln x, and that value is this value here, 4, Okay, and I will trace through, that value is around 1.70. This is read through the graph. So ln x is equal to 1.70, which means that x is going to be e to the power of 1.70. Then I press it into the calculator, I will get my answer 5.47. Before I end, let me just give you two more examples. And what I want to do is to try to go through these few steps again to imagine how we can transform the next two curves that I'm going to be giving you into linear forms. So for example, for example, let's say we have an equation 1 over x, and this is added to 2 over y, and this is equal to 4. Okay, we are obviously looking at a non-linear equation here, so we are not going to be expecting ourselves to be getting a, a linear line when I try to plot x versus y. So we're going to let it go through this linear transformation process. The first thing is I'm going to try to manipulate this equation. And what I'm thinking of is this. 2 over y is equal to this. I'm going to bring it over to the other side. Minus 1 over x. This is equal to 4. And I'm going to divide this throughout by 2, which will give me 1 over y is equal to minus 1 over 2, 1 over x plus 
4. Then I'm going to see y as this. I'm going to see x as this. So now we have a uh, y is equal to minus half x plus 4, which means that if I were to be sketching x versus y, where x represents 1 over x, and y here represents 1 over y, we will be expecting a linear line. A linear line where the gradient of this linear line is equal to minus 1 over 2, and the vertical intercept is going to be at 0, 4. Let me show you one more example. Let's say now we are given a ln y is equal to ln a b to the power of square root of x. Let's try to change this into a linear form to be plotted on a graph, okay? So we're going to change our perspective in looking at this. Ln y, I'm going to retain it, and I'm going to break this up into ln a plus ln b to the power of square root of x. And ln y, I think I'm going to retain it still. Ln a, I'm going to leave it as it is. Ln this square root of x, I'm going to bring it forward, which will give me a square root of x. Then ln b, and of course, we can see this also as an as equation that is like this. This ln a plus ln b, which is the constant. Let me just switch this, so square root of x, which means that now, if I were to just see this as x and y, this will be the y, this will be the x. So this is going to be ln a plus ln b multiplied by x, which means that if we were to be sketching a graph of x versus y, where in this case y is representing ln of the original y and x is representing square root of x, we can be expecting a straight line and for this straight line, the gradient will be ln b. And what is the vertical intercept? The, verti the vertical intercept will be 0 and ln a. Well, I guess this is all I have for this chapter. And if you are fine with it, I'll see you in the next one.